Today, I'm gonna to show you the absolute best way to grow a Facebook page fast this year. If you start using this strategy, you won't have to rely on the Facebook algorithm to grow your follow. This is because the strategy that I'm about to share with you relies entirely on utilizing Facebook ads to bring targeted followers to your Facebook page as quickly as possible. And if you don't wanna grow fast, then don't watch this video. You can go and watch some of my other videos where I break down how you can grow your Facebook page utilizing only organic means. Okay, so I'm inside of one of my Facebook ad accounts and I'm gonna actually show you the process that I follow to launch new Facebook ads to grow Facebook pages. And I'm gonna be using my own Facebook page that I use for marketing purposes to run ads and stuff like that to show you how you can replicate this exact same process for your Facebook pages. It doesn't really matter what your Facebook page is about. If you apply this same steps and process, you'll be able to grow your page. So the first thing is we have to create our um, follower campaign. So we're gonna select engagement. And right now I'm not going to name my campaign or anything. So I'm just gonna click on continue. Now for this option, I typically go the manual option. I think this is um, the best option because it gives you more flexibility and you can pick and choose what options you want to apply for your Facebook ad. I'm not gonna worry about the campaign name for now. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, so now we are on the ad set level and this is where we choose our Facebook page that we wanna promote in order to get new followers for our page. So you can see here, gives you multiple options. I'm gonna pick Facebook page. So I've selected the Facebook page that I'm going to be promoting. So the next step is we got to scroll all the way down and now we have to pick a budget of how much money we want to spend per day um, in order to run these ads and get more followers. Now, typically what I would recommend is that you set up a budget that you can afford. You don't have to spend a lot of money for testing purposes. And that's what we're going to be doing uh, with this ads. We're going to be testing different ads, different creatives to see which ones work best for different audiences in order to attract the best type of followers that you can get for your page. So for now, because I'm gonna be testing five different ads, I'm gonna leave it at $25. So that means that each ad will get on average $5 per day in order to run these ads. And Facebook is really smart. Facebook knows exactly how to test these ads to different audiences to find which one works best for your audience. So it doesn't really mean that you spend $25 per ad, it means that your $25 will get spread out across multiple ads until Facebook figures out, okay, this one is performing really well. So we're just gonna put most of the budget of the $25 per day on this one ad. So we're gonna leave it like that at $25 and we're gonna go down. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to select our audiences. Now, if you wanted to test different um, locations, for example, let's say you wanted to create um, you're targeting for the United States, but you also want to target people in the UK, for example, I would say it is best to test these audiences separately because one ad might work really well for the United States, but then another different ad might work really well for an audience in the UK. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can test these things in this video. So for now, we're just going to pick the United States and we're going to essentially utilize Advantage Plus audience. And as you can see, it asked me to select the age, gender, and detail targeting. And I'm gonna start typing for the audiences that I would like for my Facebook page. In this case, like I said, my content is about social media growth, you know, making money with social media, and people who have Facebook pages, people who are looking to grow on Facebook, make money from their content on Facebook. So that's the type of followers that I want. Okay, so I made a list of different types of audiences and topics that I believe might be interested in my content and are more likely to follow me. Now, keep in mind that these are just suggestions that I'm providing Facebook. Facebook is still responsible to go and find out if these suggestions are actually what my page needs. So even though I'm just providing suggestions, it doesn't necessarily mean that Facebook will show my ads to these audiences. It will just test different audiences and it will find out if my suggestions are good or it will find out other audiences that might work better for my uh, Facebook page. 
So in the ad level, you do want to assign different names for each ad so you know exactly you know, which ones are working best so you can identify them easily uh, while you're running these tests, especially if you're running multiple ad creatives. But before we do that, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select the videos that I wanna use for my ads. Because my content is mostly video and my page is gonna be mostly videos, I wanna utilize videos to attract followers to my page. So I'm gonna use existing videos from my Facebook page to try to get people to follow my page. And the way to do that is you go to the ad creative section, click on add media. So if I go to the page section, you can see all the videos that have been posted on my page. So my plan is to test five different videos, five different ad creatives to see which one brings me the best type of followers, the cheapest followers um, based on the demographics and interests that I'm looking for. So I have selected one, two, three, four, five videos that I'm gonna be using. And these are reels, very short 30 to 60 second reels that I'll be using to see if these uh, short video content will bring me followers that I need. So I'm gonna select this one first. Now that I have selected the video, I'm gonna go up and I'm going to name my ad so I can identify which reel I'm using for my ad. And now we're gonna scroll all the way down and we need to add call to actions. What we want people to do for this specific ad, and in this case, we want them to follow us. So when you're making ads, it's okay to tell Facebook exactly what the call to action is because you're paying for this. Remember, if you were to do this organically, I wouldn't recommend that you insert call to actions to do specific things for organic content because this is gonna limit your reach. But if you're paying for ads, you might as well tell Facebook exactly what you want your audience to do. So in this case, I want them to follow my page. I already have call to actions inside of my reel, but I also wanna reinforce that by adding the text on my ad. So I'm gonna show you the type of text that I do, and I'm very clear with my call to actions because I want people to take very specific actions with my ads. So here's the text that I'm using for my primary text. This means the text that is gonna be shown on top of my ad and is a very clear call to action. If you're a content creator looking to level up your followers and revenue this year, give me a follow and I'll teach you how. It's very simple, no need for a very long text because I'm going straight into what I want them to do. And hopefully the video reinforces that idea and makes it um, easier for my audience to decide whether they want to follow me or not. Not everyone's gonna follow you, that's okay. But the people we want to follow us, we want them to be as targeted as possible. So by mentioning exactly that um, I'm looking for content creators, I'm essentially telling my potential follower, hey, if you're this, you need to follow me. All right, so now that we have that in place, I'm gonna go ahead and name everything so it's a little bit more organized and I can easily identify what I'm doing. So all we gotta do now is just scroll down and hit publish. Now the ad is being processed. It'll go through this review process to see if the ad gets approved or not. But what we're gonna do is we're going to quickly duplicate our ads to have the other reels that I have ready to also test and see which of these videos uh, works best for the type of follower that I want. The way to do that is by going to the ad and clicking on duplicate. So it'll ask you, do you want to duplicate your ad? And I'm gonna click on existing campaign and then I'm going to click on existing ad set. And what we want is just one copy for now. So I'm going to uncheck this box and click on duplicate. So the only thing we're replicating is the ad itself. We're not changing the audience yet. We're not doing any of that. We're simply adding a new reel. So what I'm gonna do is select a different video. Okay, so I've selected my second reel that I'm gonna be testing for my ads. And now I have the choice to change the primary text if I want to. But in this case, I'm not going to do that because what I'm testing is essentially the reel. I don't wanna make a lot of changes because I'm split testing to see which of my reels is getting the best result for my campaign. So I'm not gonna be changing anything from the text. So all I'm gonna do is just make sure that I change the name of the ad so I can easily identify it. So now that I've done that, all I gotta do is click on 
publish. We now have two ad creatives that are going to be tested once they are approved or denied. We don't know yet, but we essentially are going to be doing the exact same thing with the other three videos that I have. And so what I'm going to do is quickly do that, follow the exact same steps of duplicating my um, ad and just changing the video and that's it. And so we have five ads running for this specific campaign. Okay, so through the magic of video editing, I have replicated my ads. And so what I'm gonna do is essentially give it a few days, come back to this, and then we're gonna take a look at the results and see how we did. Three days later. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of days and what we're looking at is essentially the ads now. And I wanna show you some of the stuff that happened over the last couple of days, I would say the last two days. And the first thing that I did is I replicated the ad because I wanted to test two different locations. So the first ad that I created was mainly for the USA. And the second um, ad set that I wanted to uh, test would be the UK and Canada. So I wanted to test that and I wanted to see the difference in terms of how much would it be for a follower from these three countries separately. So as you can see, um, over the last couple of days, uh, we have received 187 likes and the average cost per follower for the US is 78 cents and for the UK and Canada is $1.08. Now keep in mind that these are very high. I'm in a very competitive niche which is the marketing, social media marketing uh, niche and at the same time I'm also targeting the highest tier one and at the same time I'm targeting the highest tier one countries if I wanted to grow extremely fast and get 5,000 followers quickly, I would go outside the United States and just go for more of tier two, tier three countries in order to get lots and lots of followers. But for this specific case, I wanna show you what happened. So let's see what actually happened. So if I click on my ad set for the USA, you can see we have all five ads running. I did increase the budget to $50 per day, not per ad, but the overall budget for the ads. And that was mainly because I wanted to exit the learning phase uh, as quickly as possible. So when you first launch a new ad on Facebook, it will go through this learning phase. And if you wanna get out of that learning phase as quickly as possible, the best thing that you can do is increase the budget a little bit. You can double the budget and then you can go back down um, after you have exited the learning phase. So that's the quickest way to exit the learning phase. And so that's what I did, I increased the budget to $50. And now I can just go back down to 25 if I wanna do that. So let's go back to the ads. You can see here, so we have five different reels all running to the same audience, same demographics, same interests. And basically the only thing that changes is the ad creative itself, which is the reels. And all these reels are in a way related to each other because they're all talking about growing an audience, making more money with social media and content creation and all that. So they're all related in some way, but some actually perform better than others. As you can see, this one right here got 74 followers at 65 cents per follower. But this is why we test. This is why we do this. Facebook takes a while to find the right audience for your ad. So I wanna show you if we go back to the 17, just to show you what that looks like, I'm gonna click here on the 17 and click update. You can see that the cost per follower for these ads was over a dollar per follower. This one even $3.57. Now if we go to the next date here, we click on the 18, and we click update, you can see that it actually went down a little bit. Now 77 cents, 82 cents, $1.43, now, if we go to essentially um, today, we click on update, you can see that the cost per follower actually went down even more. So the longer they run, the more time you give Facebook to find the audiences for these ads. So you have to let these ads run for at least seven days. I'm not gonna stop these ads right now, but essentially what Facebook is telling me is that this ad right here, the lazy way to 10,000 followers, is outperforming my other reels. It's getting me the cheapest cost per follower, it's getting me the most followers today. It actually got me 46 new followers. So as you can see here, this is also getting lots of a page engagement, 
post reactions is actually getting the most shares as well so it's telling me all this information and even people saving the um the reel so facebook is allocating my budget for this specific ad because it sees that it's outperforming my other reels now let's go back and take a look at my uk and canada um, ad set so if i click here is the same ads all i did is replicate the ad set change the locations and just include the same ad creators i didn't change that and it turns out we have the same data even though these ads are being shown to a complete different country different demographics we have seen that this one continues to outperform the other reels getting the most uh, followers at the cheapest cost you can see here so if we go for the past let's go to past seven days you can see that this one continues to win so we have identified a winning creative that we can now just turn this one's off if we wanted to and just put all the budget to this one right here so this is how you test different ads every single week even though you might be targeting the same demographics locations interests and all that the ad creative actually makes a difference so you want to be testing different ad creatives so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both ad sets they have the same uh, interest same age and everything the only thing that changes is the location the countries that i'm targeting and so i'm going to go to ad set for um, all the ad creatives and you can see that in the last seven days for example this one right here the lazy way to 10,000 it is actually getting the most followers at the cheapest cost so that tells me that this is a winning reel that i should be running this one now keep in mind that if i create new content new reels this week and i wanted to test this new reel to see if it can beat this one that's getting me the cheapest cost per follower so far I could do that and it would tell me whether the new one would do better than the one that I have right now. So this is why you need to experiment. This is why you need to test. And so whenever you're launching a brand new Facebook page, you want to grow to 5,000 followers as quickly as possible. It's not okay to simply launch one ad. You want to launch multiple ads um, using the same demographics because within those ads, you will find one that is outperforming all the other ads and then every other week every two weeks you can launch new ads to see if you can beat your previous ad to find the cheapest cost per follower possible and you don't have to spend that much money to do these tests i did it for the sake of this video to show you guys um, how quickly you can actually um, start bringing followers to your page but this works and i do this for pretty much every single page that i launch doesn't matter what the niche is if you know how to do this, you'll be able to essentially uh, grow your Facebook page to whatever numbers you want. So if you want to find winning ad creatives, the more tests you do, the better. And what you can do is once you find those winning ad creatives, then you can start testing other things like different audiences, different ranges of age, whether it's male versus female. And by having this data, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to not only launch successful campaigns that can get you the most targeted and also the cheapest followers for your page. And if you want to know exactly how I apply this method to build, grow, and monetize Facebook pages, go ahead and check out Facebook Income School in the description below. This is my complete program on how I actually find niches for Facebook pages to launch in and also how I set up my Facebook ads, everything in detail, step-by-step -step video tutorials on anything and everything you will need to know in order to build a successful monetizable Facebook page. The link is going to be in the description below if you guys want to find out more information. And listen, if you want to find out more about the different monetization opportunities that Facebook offers and how you can make a ton of money with content creation on Facebook, make sure you go ahead and watch this video right here. I break down exactly what you need to do 